Hey guys, so about recording the rest of the progress. I ran out a lot of time. I had my window of getting on a plane to go to California was closing quickly and I kind of just stopped videotaping the process of completing my cosplay. I did try to take pictures here and there just to continue documenting it for the judging and everything. But I don't have any more video footage besides video footage of me walking on the stage. Maybe if I can find that somewhere because I didn't take it. But um, so what I'm going to do is bring you over to my computer monitor and kind of talk my way through the rest of the progress and just explain things from there. So let's go. Sorry. Hello. Okay. So I know that. A better way of doing this would be to edit these pictures into a video in a slideshow but that would take a whole lot more time to edit and this is the fastest way that I can get this done or else it might not get done so this way or no way oh, this doesn't sound like an ASMR video what we're doing maybe I should talk quieter my voice is like cracking maybe I should talk quieter okay I think this is kind of where I left off here, where I had to re-put on this ribbon here. I didn't have to, but it was bothering me, so I did it. This is the back. I guess I was just showing all of the lines of stitching that I had to do because it was a lot. And here again, the layers of how I had first sewn the green part down flat and then aren't like flipped it up and ironed this down and then sewed it down so I could have this nice neat line there. I don't know if the green fabric was on the video. I should probably watch the end of the video so I could remember. All right, so here are just the tails from the staff, just the finished, just how they looked with the inset of the gold and then it's the same on both sides. Um, these are the pieces again from the um the staff the flower by the staff yes let's go just showing that some more here is this is the ribbon that's on the like the little ruffle that's on the hat again just showing like neat beautiful stitching <laughs> i think i have those same pajama pants on right now <laughs> Okay, I feel like I saw this in the video, but this was just again me kind of like testing out um, how I wanted to do this. I feel like if there was a part that I wasn't 100% happy with, that it would be this, or maybe the shape of the skirt. But um, yeah, this I wasn't 100. Once once you see the finished product, you'll see. I guess kind of what I mean. Okay, so, and this is my favorite part, the hat. So, like I said before, I watched an Angela Clayton tutorial on how she made a heart-shaped pillbox hat, which can be applied to making, like, different shaped pillbox hats. Um, there's a basic pillbox hat tutorial that she has, but it's for a round one. I guess if you made a square pillbox hat, you could use the same thing. But since my shape was kind of funky because it was like tapered to the top, like tapered out. This is the 18 gauge wire, I believe. Um, right here, the ends are kind of bent in so they're not poking out. And then I hand sewed that down. And then I kind of just, it's kind of traced itself around the edge of the, um, this is the, what is it? I guess the sides of the hat. This is the top of the hat. And then I use these little binder clips. I use mini binder clips and big binder clips just to hold it uh, while I'm sewing. And then I zigzag stitched this down. I don't know if there's any pictures of that, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> so I'm like, what is that? Let me go back. Uh, I don't know what I was showing here. Maybe I was showing a sample of this little corner here because I was just practicing right there. Hmm. I don't know. So here is my shoe cover that I ended up remaking completely. I wasn't going to remake it. I was just going to line it because the other fabric I used was kind of sheer. But then I found this really great, thick, stretchy white fabric that was like, I 
think it was like two or three dollars a yard and i was like yes i wish i bought like the whole bolt because it's it would be really good for costumes so here this gold strip i believe this is just a piece of the gold fabric i folded in half and then i um just kind of sandwiched it in between the seams of the boot cover here and this little piece sticking out here is boning is which ugh. oh my throat already hurts i need to get some tea like i said this is a piece of boning um that i put in here because all of this kind of like scrunched up if I, I could just put it on and it looked fine but it was like ripply and scrunched up so i put the boning in just to keep the gold straight and it worked really good or really well what what is proper english so here again is just me testing out what i want to do here um maybe i'll have the picture over here on the screen of what i'm talking about but um there's this little detail and this is um one of the little pieces of fabric by the flower that's on the seven that's on the staff <laughs> And I was kind of experimenting what I wanted to do with it. I think I ended up using paint for this part. We'll find out. <laughs> but I was just trying to sew this ribbon down and just try to figure out how to make this look like the picture and clean too. And it was very difficult. I don't know why, but it was very difficult. Uh, because I'm just showing, I guess I was showing like, here's what four beads and then here's what three beads would look like. And then... I messed around with doing maybe I want to do like embroidery and here's like um, I don't know like a satin stitch right here and then I don't know what this is I just made this up just going back and forth in different directions till it's a knot or a circle um, maybe I did I don't remember we'll see what I did we'll see what I ended up doing but um, just messing around to see how I wanted to get that to look uh, what is this for I want to say this was practicing embroidery for the details on the hat. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Just trying to get different details. Because on the hat, it's kind of like zigzag stitched. And I was just, maybe I could do zigzag. Maybe I can do like a wavy looking stitch or textured. I don't know. So this is just practicing some embroidery. Uh, what is this? This looks like it's my bloomers. This does not explain a lot of anything. Wow. <laughs> I guess this piece was a long piece of orange that I folded in half and then sewed bias tape on top of kind of where the orange and the red meet so I could have a casing for it. Let's see, I believe that's what I did. I don't know, I don't see, oh. I guess this is just the bottom of the bias tape sewn down and, and I believe I stitched here so that the, um, elastic <laughs> could go right here have a casing for that and then this and this would be ruffled so it would look like the picture ha ha and that is what the bloomers look like okay so this is just showing the inside like i said before i did another stitch and then i used that bias tape as casing for the elastic here is the skirt i don't know oh i do know what i'm showing here so I, last year I was on a weight loss journey. Like it kind of just started. It wasn't like, I'm doing this. It just was like, ah, let me count calories and see what happens. And then I lost like 45 pounds. So, um, so the start of making this cosplay, I had lost weight. And so I was like, okay, cool. So should I like take this apart? and re whoops didn't mean to go back by accident but i was like should i take this apart and redo a lot of it or should i um just try to do some not too crazy alterations but i just ended up putting elastic in the waistband as you can see here kind of just like open that seam up and put elastic through it to kind of get it to cinch in because I hadn't lost like a whole lot of weight but it still needed to sit where it needed to sit and not like sit too low so I put that elastic in there uh, oh okay I was like what is this <laughs> so this is a big bow like that's on the staff 
And here I'm just showing you um, how I connected the tails. You know, the tails that kind of wrap around the bow. So here's one side and then here's the other. I hand stitched these together and I left a tiny little opening right here to insert my wire. Now I like to do this, leave holes for wire instead of leaving wire just in stuff, just so it makes it easier to pack, to travel. I always think about those things like I want to be able to break down my costumes as much as possible or if I needed to wash it, can't wash it with the wire in it, well I could try, but it wouldn't be a good idea to wash it with the wire in it. So I always like to have some kind of plan to take the wire out, so that's kind of why I left that there. And then this little area kind of just, you just pull on this side and it just slides under the bow knot. Um, here I am. See, I just be jumping all over the place. This is just how I make things because sometimes I just get like mentally exhausted working on something or it's frustrating or I'm stuck and I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to take a break and work on something else. So I kind of jump around a lot. As you can see, we're back to the hat. I don't know how much you can see, but it's a zigzag stitch down um, all the way around. I just did that on the sewing machine. So whoops, that was quick and easy. I don't even know what the last photo is. It's probably just going to abruptly end. <laughs> I don't know how many photos I have. I hope I don't be talking for like an hour. Okay, so. La, 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 la. Okay, so this is the flower that goes on the seven. And I am just showing kind of how I have it hooked on there. I just made it detachable just for packing, just so it's easier to pack, easier to wrap up and protect certain pieces. Um, you know. I like to be able to break things down. I don't want to break things down too much so that I'm just putting a bunch of pieces together, but you know. So there's a hole in the top of the seven and this dowel just slips right into it. This just sits on top. It doesn't really come out or anything. I imagine if you flipped it upside down and shook it, it would come out, but why would you do that? Um, here, oh, I forgot this part was hard. <laughs> this was the circle that was on the bottom of the staff. And I was just going through different ways to cover this with cover this foam ball with fabric. It wasn't fun. I don't even want to talk about it because it was aggravating. But here I just kind of poked a hole in it so the wooden dowel would go inside of it. Or no, it's not a wooden dowel. The PVC pipe would go inside of it and then I carved out some on the bottom so that the um, there's another little ball that needs to go and I want it to like nest inside of it a little bit. Here's me showing like I'm wrapping this with fabric. It was not that easy. I don't know why I didn't show any pictures. Um, I think I tried to hot glue it at first and stretch it. And I think I, ended up, I might have ended up using contact cement. I don't remember. If there's more photos, then that will jog my memory. <laughs> but I don't remember what I used. Oh, I think I used spray adhesive to get it on there as smooth as possible. It still wasn't up to my standards, but it was on the bottom and it goes on the ground. So I wasn't that worried about it. Here is the bow from my staff again, and I'm just showing how I connect it to the staff. Again, just making it detachable. The um, staff is, the rod of the staff is in two pieces. The bottom little piece can come off and go on. The seven can come off. The bow and the flower can come off. And so, again, just to make it easier for packing, um, made that detachable. Here is, what is this for? I don't know what this is for. I think this was for um, for the boot cover maybe? Or the hat? I don't know. I was just kind of testing out how I wanted to do the trim. I think this was for the boot cover because I know I already knew how I wanted to do the hat. So let's say this was for, let me see, I move ahead. Okay, yes, <laughs> that makes more sense now. So when I showed you where the boning goes, um, I had decided on the boning, but then I was like, maybe this will be easier. I won't have to put the boning down and it won't like scrunch up if I just like top stitch it down. And here is just like one cut of the, like just a strip of the fabric. And then this is a strip of the fabric, but it like the insides are folded under just to give it a cleaner look, but it was much thicker. Both of these were hard to sew and I don't remember why I decided against it, but I did. <laughs> I think it just ended up not looking like I wanted it to look or it didn't stretch so it was harder to put on because I just used a straight stitch. I'm not sure. 
So here is me just showing the boot. Uh, I don't know why. I guess you can see better. Um, there's an opening here and opening at the bottom. I think eventually I sew the bottom opening closed, but this one stays open just so I can slip the boning in and out again for travel or if the boning gets damaged, I can just swap it out for another piece. Here's just me showing it again. Still scrunched up a little, little bit, but it ended up being okay. And that's me. See, this is me. I guess my foot's flexed and pointed and showing like, okay, if I have heels on, it will be more straight right here. The gold, it won't like ripple up. And so I did wear a little bit of a heel. I didn't go super high heels. I'm glad because I was walking around all day and that would have been horrible. So here is that leg band with the, um, the red ribbon on it, you know? This is me just putting on the white ruffles. This is just the white fabric folded in half and gathered, and then pinned onto the, I'll call it a garter, cause that's kind of what it is, I guess. What else is, what else would that be called? A garter. <laughs> um, just showing kind of what it looks like. I love these shots of all the little pins and ruffles. I don't know why. I do. So I'm going to pause right now and take this video off my camera and upload it to my computer because I'm about to run out of space.